The next step is agents really suck at hiring. Why we suck at hiring is for a couple of reasons. One, we hire the wrong people. We hire them because we like them. Two, we hire real estate agents that suck. See, there's all these agents out there, and they aren't selling any real estate right now, and they're having a hard time. So we say, oh, why don't you come over and join my team because uh, you're sucking there, so why don't you come over and make my team suck a little bit more? See, if you hire lazy people, there's no reason that they're not going to be lazy when they join their team. There are some exceptions. Some people don't have the skills or the database or the leads, but they're motivated. Find the motivated people. They will do great. Make sure that you're hiring the right types. Use a personality profile test. Make sure that you're given uh, this test to every single person. Try DISC. It's the test that was taught to me. You know, some companies have a more advanced system like the ABA, but if you don't have access to that, use the DISC. Figure out what's the right profile for each position. In a DISC, there's four different types. There's a D, there's an I, there's an S, and there's a C. A D is a driver. They're pushing. They're always wanting to go somewhere. If they're not there right away, they're irritated. There's casualties in every war. They will step over top of you to get where they're going. They are always pushing. They're the type of people you want leading your organization. Eyes, they're the lovey ones. They're the ones that are the life of the party. When they walk into the party, everybody knows who they are. They're like, hi, come say hi to me. They're the people that love being in front of the crowds. They're the actors, the presenters, and so on. They care about what people think. The S's, they want to be safe. They want stable. They don't want to work on commission. They want a fixed income. They want to be able to count on it. And the C's, they pay attention to details. They want to know what are the numbers, what are the stats. Show me the facts. You should be able to understand this test so well that when you walk into a listing presentation, you know exactly who you're speaking to. Because the listing presentation I give depends if you're a D, an I, an S, or a C. It's really interesting when you have a, uh, an I for a wife and a D for a husband or vice versa. That's when you've got to get really skilled to understand the people's profiles and understand who's going to do best. If you want somebody to run your organization, it's going to be a DI or an ID. Notice that in this chart, I only count traits that are above or below the 70. If they're in the middle area, it doesn't really count. That's not a strong trait. If you want a buyer's agent, they're going to be an ID or an IS. Make sure that I is high enough. I prefer ISs for work in their database and work in their sphere. I prefer IDs for work in cold calls, cancel it expires, web leads, because they're more driven and it takes a lot more prospecting. If you're going to hire an admin, make sure you hire an SC. There's a couple uh, interesting anomalies out there in the world of hiring, but if you just follow some simple rules and dive into hiring the right people, you'll have much, much less churn. You could take your business to a whole brand new level.